It's 10 a.m. at the Stockyards in Fort Worth, Texas. For more than a century, Longhorn cattle have been this city's biggest celebrities. They are descendants of the oldest breed of cows in America, which were introduced by the Spanish close to 500 years ago. They once used their distinctive horns to defend themselves in the wild. Today, most Longhorns are raised for their meat, but this herd is kept just for show. Twice a day, local cowboys round them up and drive them down East Exchange Avenue past their adoring fans. Cattle have been the stars of Fort Worth ever since the 1800s, when giant herds passed through the streets of this western city on their way to Kansas. After the Civil War, there was a rising demand for meat in fast-growing cities like New York and Chicago. And there was a plentiful supply of cows in Texas that had been left out to pasture during the war. In 1867, Illinois entrepreneur Joseph McCoy convinced the railways to build a site in Abilene, Kansas, where cattle could be loaded onto trains and shipped east. Cowboys could buy a cow in Texas for just $2 and sell it to meat packers in the Midwest for a $13 profit. Mounted on horseback, just like these modern day Texas cowboys are today, they started driving cattle north along what's known as the Chisholm Trail. The trail began in South Texas as a web of feeder trails that merged and ran north through San Antonio and Fort Worth and then across the territory of Oklahoma to a series of railheads west of Kansas City. By the late 1870s, close to five million cows had traveled up the Chisholm Trail. That great movement of cows and cowboys turned Fort Worth into a boomtown. 